Good evening. Today, I want to share from Romans chapter 7, verses 18 and 19. And then I want to jump over to Romans 8, 1. But I just want to share, you know, my personal experience with the Lord is uh, one of complete grace. One that uh, I've seen clearly. Um, how destitute I was of, of anything good. And the Lord loved me and had mercy on me and drew me out of a, the darkest place, um, completely hopeless. But that's another story altogether. Romans seven eighteen and 19. For I know that in me that is in my flesh, dwells no good thing, for to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good, I do not find. For the good that I would do, I don't do. But the evil which I would not do, that is what I do. Um, and Paul is explaining the law of sin and death to me. This is what the law on sin and death entails. I'm a slave to do the things that I hate to do. And in your flesh, when you're in the flesh, you cannot stop sinning. You cannot stop doing the things that you hate to do. You are a slave to sin. Um, and, and Paul even says after that, he's like, if, I don't, if I'm doing what I don't want to do, then it, it, it shows me that um, it's not me, but sin living in me. So there's a problem you know, that has to be reconciled. And for me, my experience was that I was doing the things that I didn't want to do. I didn't really want to do, even though there was this awkward feeling of like, actually, I did want to do those things because they were pleasurable. But at the same time, I would do them and then I would regret having done them and I would want to stop doing them, but then do them again. And um, anyway, so, so it was good for me to experience that though, because I can say like Paul, I know that in me that is in my flesh dwells no good thing, you know, because it's important for you as a Christian to have zero confidence in yourself, in your flesh. If you think you can do something good, then you're messed up. <laughs> you know, I'm just being honest. Your, your theology is worthless because Jesus is the only way for you to be righteous. And I want to make it clear though, that when I say, um, you know, cause people use Romans seven to justify living in sin. I'm not saying that I'm saying, let's go to Romans eight. Here we go. There is therefore now no condemnation to those which are in Christ Jesus who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Now here's the shift. When you are in Christ, you're not walking after the flesh. You're walking after the spirit because you've been born again of the spirit of God and you cannot live in the flesh any longer. You know, you cannot continue to do those things because you have God's spirit living within you. And even if you struggle with those things, which you might for a season, you're going to overcome them, you know, and, and, but it's not to say that you won't be tempted again, but you, you will continue to overcome and you might even slip up again, but you will continually overcome until the spirit fills you, you know what I mean? And, but you have to continually be filled. It's like a, it's not a one and done thing. It's, it's, it's something that has to be maintained and if we can maintain that because we know, but there's this initial verse two for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. So you've been set free from being a slave to sin. You're set free from continuing to do the things that you hate to do, but you, you have to be in Christ. And for me, I couldn't get in Christ. I mean, even though I had the initial um, faith, my faith wasn't perfected 
until I failed. I understood that I couldn't do it after I had tried to do it myself and doing works of righteousness and all those things. And then I failed continually. And then the Lord set me free and showed me that he loved me. And then I was able to, to really serve the Lord, not because I was beating myself up over sin, but because I loved him and saw that he loved me. So that is the foundation that has to be laid. This is where you're going to find the most freedom from sin and the ability to overcome and continue to live um, righteously before the Lord in Him uh, because you are in love with Him and because He loves you. And you're not doing anything drudgingly. You're doing it out of a cheerful heart because you are acting out of love. And, you know, there might be seasons where you that, that disappears and dissipates and things, but but you still continue to strive um, based on the love that you've been convinced of. And even if you have a dry season, you're like, well, you know that it's just a, a season of testing, whatever it is, it hasn't changed what Christ has done for you. So let's understand that um, we, don't, we shouldn't have any confidence in the flesh. And if we're overcoming sin, it's not because of us, it's because of Christ living in us and in the spirit that he's given us, which is leading us and keeping us from sin himself. Amen.